at LAX checking in to go to Peru. It's been a busy year so far. We've uh, been to about 18 nations, had the privilege of seeing 175,000 decisions for Christ so far, praise the Lord. We just took a month off. Visited family, went to the beach, recorded, filmed a video. Now they have a mariachi band here. What the heck is going on? That's a new one. Okay. So we are well rested. A month off was so needed, so desperately needed. And now we have begun our trek again, the second half of the year, praying that it is as fruitful or more fruitful than the last first stop, Lima, Peru, via JFK. We'll see how it goes. Bring your downtime. I surprised some family members in Florida and a best friend. Plus, I got to serve in another ministry important to young kids through dance and music and tell them about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you did some fundraising also? Yes, we are doing a matching grant. Anyone that donates our most needed fund, we will match it to 100,000. So please give and pour into this ministry because it will make a difference. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are waiting for our Go ahead and remain Where are we going to? We'll be calling in just a few minutes. Yeah. What did you do for the last month, dude? Just went out with my sister. Your sister came out. Yeah. How was it? Really good. Where did you guys go? We went everywhere. Uh, Six Flags, Universal Studios, Knott's Berry Water Park, Disneyland, LA Zoo, Santa Monica Pier, and uh, yeah. Everywhere. How's your, how are you doing health-wise? You were in the hospital on the last tour. You had Bell's palsy. How, how are you recovering? Slowly getting better. Praise the Lord. Yep. You well rested and ready to do this tour? Yep. Awesome. What was that dance? <laughs> That's the, I just got upgraded to first class <laughs> dance! Hey, uh, we, don't, we don't fly first class, but we fly so much that we get frequent flyer miles and every once in a while, because I'm platinum, it pays off. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Yes. Sorry. I thought everything was going great until I got on the plane and realized that I was missing the base. Whew. Good track. They held the plane for me. Thank the Lord. Whew. Won't do that again. Good exercise. Oh, Jesus. We're in the Big Apple now. In the Big Apple. All right, so we're currently in New York waiting for our flight to take off to Peru. We've been to Peru so many times, so it's always on the way to Brazil. Only once have we ever done a concert there, and it was in a fairly small church. The building was small because the original building was on fire before then. You may have seen it like 10 years ago in a video blog. But um, yeah, excited to go back, finally. Visit Lima. All right, so our flight from LAX to New York was six hours, and now we're waiting to board a plane to Lima, and this is gonna be an eight-hour flight. So we're super excited for that. So I'm a firm believer of the saying, do what you're called to do, and the right person will come alongside you. Well, that right person is Avion, and today is our 16th anniversary, right, baby? 16 years, so incredible. And we're traveling for eight hours to Lima now. We're at JFK in New York, flying to Lima. Uh, I, I would add to that, do what you're called to do and the right person come alongside you. And, and when you're married, continue to do what you're called to do and your little one will adjust to you. We don't believe that we should have our dreams or visions or calling or giftings end when we have kids. Um, we believe that they continue. And so you were flying when you were in your mommy's belly. You know that, right? But then when we had you, our, our first, do you remember the first place you went to? You don't remember it, but what was the first place you flew to? Hawaii. Hawaii, and then after that? 
Melanesia, uh huh. You were what, two and a half months old, right? Yeah. Two and a half months old, and so on. Well, on that first trip, as we went from island to island, I started counting. And today, you're how old are you? Seven. Seven. Uh huh. Your birthday's in March, and you've done. Do you know how many flights you've done? Guess. I don't know what a lot. Close to a trillion billion, maybe. Trillion billion. <laughs> Not quite, no, no. 344 flights this little one has been on. How do you feel about that? 344. Just another day, right? <laughs> Some got some sleep. You had a rough one. You had a middle seat in between two perfect strangers. No sleep at all for you. Nope. I just closed my eyes on the plane, but nothing happens. Whew. We never really get used to this traveling. It is not easy by any means, but I I heard the um Executive Director Gwyn Lewis, head of Sowers International, which is our missions organization, he said one time, certain people have the spiritual gift of traveling. That just means that they travel better than others. And man, <laughs> some people really struggle with it. Um, while we struggle with it and it's not easy, God has given us grace to do this. And um, these, these overnight, all night flights are especially brutal, thankfully, we're not flying to the other side of the world, just to a different hemisphere on this trip. But when we do three flights to go to Asia or Africa, it's super rough. Um, that being said, God gives us grace to sustain, to survive. Now we need to get some sleep without sleeping all day and getting our bodies all messed up with jet lag. What's going on over here? We just got fingerprinted. <laughs> so we're renting cars here. And they've had a sign like 75 times. Now they're doing fingerprints. It's been, how long have we been here? Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. About an hour, one lady helping three of us. Yes. Smile and wave. <laughs> yeah, it's, and then, and then the best thing is they said, if you opt out of the insurance, it will take $2,000 off your card. If you choose the insurance, full coverage, it'll cost you a hundred bucks. And we'll only hold nine hundred dollars off your card. Yoo! Woo! Hurts. Hurts. It hurts. No, not hurt. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> There's Casey trying to find his bags. How are you? Amazing packing job done by Casey. <laughs> Fits like a glove. Sweet. <laughs> Here we see someone buying newspapers, and also they don't care about lanes here. Mm -mm. We're just driving into, and literally people just buy their newspapers on the road. That's crazy. All right, guys, we're finally eating. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. First time I've ever parked my car in one of these. Wow. That was the craziest drive I've ever done. <laughs> I've never seen such chaos on the streets. Pandemonium. It was just insane seeing all these cars. Each lane, what we would consider as a lane, had sometimes three cars wide in it, just cramming it. We saw hit and runs left and right. Wow, driving in Peru is a contact sport. Jesus. Working out, trying to conquer jet lag and not sleep during the day. We're gonna do this. Day two, first full day on tour, aside from the 24 hours of travel. And uh, the band that works out together, sings and shouts together, that's a bad one. Uh, we're here working out, we're gonna do a little sightseeing and uh, Avion didn't sleep last night, nor did Ziza, so they're sleeping during the day, trying to get over jet lag. 